Weather with Tom Kiffin. And welcome back to Local 3 News. Some weather news from across the country. This is from Houston CW39, our next star station in Houston. And they had a derecho move on through last night. And that line of storms packed a punch and caused widespread wind damage, including in the Houston area. And that widespread wind damage went from southeast Texas along the Gulf Coast of Louisiana. And it was long enough and the length was long enough to be classified as a derecho. And I also posted another video on our 906 Weather Watchers page of the strong winds as it was going through Lafayette, Louisiana. And in the comments section of that video, I do have information about derechos, including two of them that hit here in the UP in 1995. So there's some good information there. Just head on over to our 906 Weather Watchers page. Speaking of our 906 Weather Watchers page, I also posted this on our 906 Weather Watchers page here and it, we're starting to see kind of some trends for perhaps a warmer summer across the United States. Still wait and see how that all pans on out for the UP, but there's a story about that that I posted. So head on over to our 906 Weather Watchers page and check it out on a preview of what could be our summer weather. All right, let's head to our 906 Weather Watcher photos on Max One here and Sandra Updike here, Tamarack Lake. And it was a foggy start in a good part of the UP, especially near Lake Michigan. And that may be the case as we head into tonight. Sandra Updike, thank you for sending in a beautiful photo once again of Tamarack Lake. And then as we take you to the Iron Mountain area, we do have a beautiful sunrise here from John Fuse of Iron Mountain. You can see some fog there in the distance as well. Thank you, John. Beautiful photos that you sent in. And then speaking of another beautiful photo, had some scattered thunderstorms around the Ironwood area this evening. But behind those thunderstorms, behind those rain showers, it looked like we had a beautiful rainbow from Missy Carroll of Ironwood. Thank you for sending in that beautiful rainbow photo from the Ironwood area. If you'd like to join our 906 Weather Watchers page, feel free to join. We'd love to show off photos like this during WJMN Local 3 News. Three things to know here. Almost summer-like weather. Let's even call it summer-like weather this weekend with warm temperatures in the afternoon. But depending on the wind direction, case in point, a south wind tomorrow. And that's going to keep the Lake Michigan communities a little bit cooler tomorrow. And maybe locally cooler or cooler through the weekend near some shorelines of the Great Lakes. We do have a chance of thunderstorms on Saturday. Some of those could be strong west of Marquette as we go through the rest of the night into the morning hours. Could be some spotty rain showers across the western UP and Keweenaw Peninsula. And then through the day, don't be surprised if you do see a pop up rain shower here and there across the UP. But I think for a good majority of the day, a good part of the UP is dry. Here comes your cold front, though, as we head into tomorrow evening. We'll have some thunderstorms fire on up across the western and UP and then move through the rest of the UP as we head into Saturday evening. Let's go to our community forecast here. We'll have temperatures tonight in the Copper Country fall back into the 40s to perhaps around 50, 58 though for Ontonagon highs. Tomorrow range from 72 for Copper Harbor to 85 for Barragan Lawns. For the interior west, temperatures will be warm Saturday afternoon, but we do have a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the 80s for the south central UP. We'll have temperatures tonight around 46 for Escanaba, high 70s to around 80 from Lake away from Lake Michigan. This is part of the UP along with the eastern UP where we could see some fog through the early morning hours. Newberry early Saturday morning around 48, 76 for a high temperature though for Newberry on Saturday. Elger County highs around 80 for Munising, Chatham and Trenary for Saturday afternoon. Perhaps a little bit cooler for Grand Marais into the interior sections of Marquette County. It'll be a warm Saturday afternoon. Highs in the lower 80s. Drink plenty of water if you're headed out to Gwynn tomorrow for the Gus Macker tournament. And then higher terrain west of Marquette could see a late day thunderstorm. Highs around 80 and then for the city of Marquette with a good southerly wind tomorrow. We'll have high temperatures around 82 Saturday afternoon.